Mob experience farms are by far the most popular way of gaining XP in Minecraft. Unfortunately, they can be, it's really hard to choose the design you want. That's for you. I mean, there's so many of them, and not all of them are great. Lucky for you today, I, Pokemaster Ander, will be showing you my very cheap, very easy, re no redstone, zombie experience farm Minecraft. So just grab yourself your zombie dungeon if you have one. Otherwise, you can also use a skeleton dungeon, but it's not as good as with zombies. And yeah, grab yourself that, load up your world, and let's get started. Alright, so let's just hop right into the materials you will need for this build. This chest contains absolutely everything. So first of all, you will need a hop two, not a hopper, two hoppers. Two chests for a double chest of the hopper. Two, not orange wool, but two blocks of choice. So, pretty much just a stack of cobblestone. But those are two of those are just indicating the important blocks. Then you will need a stack of torches, not a full stack, but a couple torches to light the spawn room. You will need a stone pickaxe or just any pickaxe so that you can mine out more than one stone pickaxe usually because you will have to mine a whole lot. You will need some cobblestone slabs. I don't have exact quantities, but a stack will do. Two magma blocks in exact quantities. You will need exactly two. Okay, so first of all, what I want you to do is light everything here in the dungeon with torches so that no zombies spawn while you are doing it. If you're doing this in survival, which I'm pretty sure you are if you clicked on this video, you're gonna wanna not be disturbed by, you know, dead bodies wandering around in this place. So give me a favor and light everything so you don't die. Alright, so once everything's nice and bright, what you're gonna do is you're gonna dig it out 9x9 nine by, nine by, I'm afraid, the height doesn't really matter it just matters that you have four below the above there just do it the height of the dungeon however high the dungeon is just leave it like that and do four below so four down and four to the side on each side so those are the dimensions you're gonna dig it completely out until you have this box here just gonna remove that real quick until you have this all right so once you have it all nice and um, you know finished you have the nine by nine by nine I guess all mined out what you're gonna do is I forgot to say this but what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a slab on top of the spawner this will aid in the spawning because if the zombies spawn on top of the spawner you know it blocks the spawner and nothing else will spawn and that is not what we want so do that next thing I'll get rid of these things real quick. Those were just some test items. Next thing, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to decide on which side you want the kill chamber to be. So depending on where you have space and where you know there aren't caves. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this side here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go onto the side and on the other side, the opposite side to that where the kill chamber is going to be, you're going to go and in each corner place your block of choice and this can be any block whatsoever i'm just using orange concrete for the sake of the video you can do whatever you want and it won't matter next i'm going to advise that you take an infinite water source somewhere and fill up your buckets there because that'll make it a lot faster next you're just going to go ahead and take your infinite water take your infinite water source now take your water buckets and go ahead your two water buckets and go ahead and place one water on top of them of the um blocks of choice that'll create this nice stencil for us that will make it perfect for our funneling system and how it works is we're gonna have to go on the very like outline on the rim the outer rim of the water you're gonna mine like so this will create are, like I said before funneling system and how it's gonna work is like so you mine everything out there then you have this pyramid and as you can see the water flows into that one point that's what you want because let's just take a bull a completely useless item and throw it in here 
The zombies, like the bull, actually that's not the best example, like the bull, will funnel into that one spot, which is what we want. So what we're going to have done now is you're going to go ahead and um, don't break the torches yet, but just to test if you got the dimensions right, you might break a couple just to see if the zombies spawn. If they don't, if, if there's not lots of zombies spawning, it's likely that you have zombies spawning elsewhere in caves and you don't want that. But yeah, now let's move on to the part where we make the kill chain. All right, so now you're gonna look where it all funnels into. That is gonna be the entrance to the killing chamber. What's gonna happen now is you're gonna go ahead and mine this a two by uh, a one by two. Um, four in, like you're gonna go four. So one, two, three, four. That'll make the one the the water flow up until one block. Now here, you're gonna immediately mine down six so i'm just gonna go ahead and count for us one two three four five six yeah so i already um i already mined out a bit so that it's easier for us to build the farm you go ahead and, and once you come down here mine out a, a pretty big a decent sized space for our kill chamber to be then stationed into um so when you get here you're going to have to place a um a map or your first magma block there i'm gonna go get ahead and get some block of choice you're, you're just gonna mine it out however you want but you're gonna have that like that right you're gonna have it like okay i think i made a mistake one two three four five six no that yeah that that's correct you're gonna dig down six now what you're gonna have is you're gonna have two up there that are not like two staying on this wall that way there's just like one by two tunnel right there and how it's gonna work is we're gonna go ahead and place our slabs right there and then like so that's gonna be four slabs for you right there in that shape i can go ahead and give you a bitter a, a bitter a better like overview of it then what's gonna happen is you're gonna place the two slabs up there zombies are already spawning for some reason yeah go ahead and die see that that's why you have to light it up a bit better okay then once you got that take three water sources i only have one take three buckets place one there one there and then one on that so there's three so just look up and where there is the third one right above that there now you have this like water flow right about there now, what you can already do is you can already get rid of that. So, or later, I'll, you'll, you'll see. Then you can already go ahead and mine one layer away. That'll go down into a, this part where we will have the loot collector. How this works is you're gonna go ahead and place two, like so, facing down into the bottom block where you then place a chest, a double chest. Now, one important thing to note and not forget is over here where the water ends, place a magma. That is so that the baby zombies that obviously can go through the one block gap will die over there and potentially drop their drops into the top. Now, the reason for this is because we want to collect the drops, obviously, and if there's a baby zombie just not dying, then it'll stop. It will hold up the spawner, and that is not ideal. So what we're going to do now is just make yourself a little platform here, and then... Good, uh, it's new. There. Now, actually, no, that's a bit wrong. Um, like that. that. Yeah, that's the platform we want. Now, um, that actually was the killing chamber, I believe. Yes, that is the finished killing chamber. After you are finished with the spawner room, go ahead and remove all the torches in your spawner room. That will enable the spawning, so be careful while doing that. But now we can go ahead and I'm gonna go switch over into spectator mode 
and see that they are dying. Now, the purpose of this is, the reason this is such an efficient farm is even if you are not here, like if you're just in the chunk or in near enough to the spawner for it to spawn, you will get the loot, potatoes, and if you're on a hard mode, even armor. And that can be very useful if you aren't here all the time killing the mobs for XP. That means it's not only an XP grinder, it is also for loot. And that is also the uh, another good feature is the um, they won't be one hit. And I'll admit that that's a major flaw in this. You can't one hit it. So the durability of your sword will will um, deplete pretty um, decent, like in a decent speed. But the magma still um, still assists you. You could. Theoretically, just oops, oops, excuse me, oops, oops. That that was not meant to. Yeah, you can um, gain XP by just hitting them like that. They will die eventually, but a sword is probably needed. All right, so that was the video. This was the pro one of the simplest um, zombie XP farms you can make. Easy, simple, no redstone. If you had any value in this video, got any value in this video, if this uh, if this design worked for you, leave a like. And if you're looking forward to more of this kind of like, bot, like this kind of farm and just all around tips to Minecraft and build designs, then subscribe because I'm coming up with more and more ideas. So look forward to that. And. If you see any major flaws in this thing, in, in this farm, and you've used it and there's a big flaw, comment it down below. I might pin the comment to warn everybody that there are flaws. And there are many, there are probably lots of flaws in this build. It is simple though, and I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next tutorial. Hopefully an awesome tutorial on another farm, so. That's why you should subscribe. See you then. Goodbye.